Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the temporal difference learning in the subject of machine learning. So in my previous video, I explained you what reinforcement learning is, right? In reinforcement learning, I gave you an example of Q-learning and temporal difference learning. I already explained about Q-learning in the previous video. In this video, let's discuss about what temporal difference learning is, okay? And uh, let's get into the video now. And before starting, let me tell you something. If you're having your exam schedule nearby, just let me know the date of your exam in the comment section so that I'll, do, I'll try to make videos by your exam date. And also let me know your college name so that I'll do syllab, uh, according to your college syllabus. Okay, done? So let's get into the video now. So first, temporal difference learning. It takes the advantage of both Monte Carlo ideas and dynamic programming. So it is a common, you can say simply it is a combination of both Monte Carlo, uh, sorry, Carlo and dynamic programming. Okay, so simply MC, DP. Let us um, represent them like that. Okay. So it is a combination of both MC and DP. The both added advantages of MC and, uh, and DP will be taken into consideration and you will be defining a temporal difference learning algorithm. Okay, done. So now what is this Monte Carlo? Uh, sorry, Carlo. I'm, I'm really sorry for the pronunciation. So what is this Monte Carlo and uh, dynamic programming? Uh, what is the um, feature which is in them? Let us see now. So it line, learns directly from raw experience that is without any model that is you don't require any model see suppose when you want to uh, write something suppose you are planning to write a program then what happens you will first design a flowchart or you will first design an algorithm you will first understand what input is and what output is what is the pattern between the input and output so you will be defining a model a model is nothing but it can be a flowchart and it can be an algorithm whatever it is like not only in the case of programming in other cases also suppose when you are um, you know you are constructing a building then what you will do you will first draw a paper draw the plan on the paper or nowadays a 3d you know you know what 3d plan 3d construct 3d modeling has become very popular so first what you will do you will first formulate a model and based on that model you'll be doing it right so here instead of model it learns directly from the raw experience that is as as and when you're experiencing you'll be learning that directly instead of going for a predefined model instead of going for a standard model standard format you will be following the experience raw experience live experiences okay this is about the monte carlo then what is about dynamic programming so even temporal difference is also same like this only temporal difference also will learn directly from the experience rather than depending on the model now what is dynamic programming then dynamic programming is nothing but it estimates based on part of learning rather than waiting for the final outcome so it will not wait for the final outcome right uh, so once okay let the entire process be finished then i will do the estimation it will not it is not like that so based on part of learning so simultaneously the learning will happen and even the estimation of the learning also will happen that is estimation of the outcome the estimation of the output the you know estimation in the sense how much accurate it would be or how much um, how many examples it will satisfy so all those estimations will be done simultaneously when the model is learning itself instead of waiting for the final outcome even the temporal difference is also like this only okay done now uh, let us see um so that is the reason so temporal difference has two main properties uh, the one is from monte carlo and the other one is from the dynamic programming okay and let us see some more about um temporal difference learning it is a model free free learning that is what we have learned now right it will learn from the raw experiences instead of depending on a predefined model so it is a model free learning and it has two important properties and those two important properties are nothing but the same which we have already learned it does not require any model to be known in advance and it can be applied for non-episodic tasks now what is non-episodic task see actually we have two type of tasks episodic tasks and non-episodic tasks okay episodic episodic means non-sequential don't get confused non-episodic means non-sequential it's not like that episodic means non-sequential episodic means non-sequential and non-episodic means sequential what do you mean by the sequential and non-sequential is i'll tell you suppose in case of episodic that is in case of non-sequential what happens is the agent's current action will not affect the future action right they are not sequential they are not see one is not related to each other one by one it doesn't follow like that okay so the agent's current action will not affect the future action okay got it they it will 
episodic means it is non sequential which means current action will not affect the future action whereas in case of non episodic they are the sequential one sequential one in the sense they are the sequential tasks you can say so sequential in the sense the you know which is opposite of uh, episodic that is agent's current current reaction or current action will affect the future action here not here it will affect current will not affect the future current will affect the future okay it will even support for non episodic tasks as well okay that is it will support for sequential tasks as well done now temporal difference learning will use an update rule right it will use an update rule with the help of that update update rule we will be using uh, we will be updating the current state which we are having current state or previous state whatever we are having we will be so in order to update the value of a state it will be using a update rule and let us see what is that update rule see this is v of st will is equal to like uh, you assign this value to this this uh, this symbol means okay v of st plus alpha rt plus 1 plus gamma v st plus 1 minus v of st so i'll explain the terms as well don't uh, worry okay so v of st means the value of the previous state that is here the v of st is nothing but the value of the previous state okay we are now updating the value of the previous state so let us you can also consider s dash which indicates that this is the updated value this is the original value we are adding some factor to the original value and we are updating it okay done so here v of st stands for the value of the previous state and here the alpha stands for the learning rate you already know that right and it is also called as the step size you can even call it as learning rate or step size okay and r i forgot to mention r here r stands for reward reward okay done now gamma gamma stands for the discount factor you know this also again and v of st plus 1 is nothing but the value of the current state okay got it so this is the value of current state this is the value of the previous state we are going to update the value of previous state according to the temporal difference learning by using the temporal difference update rule okay and i have already elaborated the terms which are present in this okay done so that's all for this video i hope this would be useful for you and if you still have any doubts apart from what i have explained in this video you can ask me in the comment section and definitely try to reply for all your comments and i'll definitely try to clear your doubts as well and thanks for watching the video till the end let's meet up in the next coming video with another topic and if you want me to make any other videos or any other topics any other subjects just let me know in the comment section